Donald Trump tweets support for GOP candidate in closely watched House race but spells her name wrong. President Donald Trump voiced his support for Republican candidate Karen Handel in the Georgia special election but he couldn't get a handle on how to spell her name. Trump, 70, took to Twitter Monday to encourage voters to elect Handel in the race for the Georgia 6th Congressional District. Karen Handel's opponent in number GA06 can't even vote in the district he wants to represent, the commander-in-chief wrote, incorrectly spelling the candidate's surname. Minutes later, he deleted the tweet and posted a new one with the correct spelling. Karen Handel's opponent in number GA06 can't even vote in the district he wants to represent, because he doesn't even live there. Trump wrote. He wants to raise taxes and kill health care. On Tuesday, number vote Karen Handel. On Tuesday morning, he echoed his previous statements. Karen Handel for Congress, Trump said. She will fight for lower taxes, great health care strong security a hard worker who will never give up. Vote today. Handel's race for a congressional seat that represents wealthy suburbs of Atlanta has made history as the most expensive contest of its kind in history. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports the race is expected to exceed $50 million in spending by both sides, crushing the previous record held by a 2012 Florida election that cost slightly under $30 million. In addition, many Democrats hope the special election is a referendum on Trump's presidential win. Handel, a former Georgia Secretary of State, is facing John Ossoff, the 30-year-old Democratic candidate. Ossoff is ahead by 1.4 points in Eel Clear Politics polling average, meaning the tight race could go either way tonight. The district's seat was vacated by Dr. Tom Price, who was appointed by Trump as Secretary of Health and Human Services earlier this year. It has been held by Republicans, including House Speaker Newt Gingrich, since 1979.